What's up guys, Harrison here from HP Weir Skull. And today we're gonna to be going over something that is pretty underrated, but a lot of players should know how to do, and that is flighting the ball, especially into the wind. And we've got a real good example here today. It was kind of a storm coming in, but I'm gonna try and get this in before it starts raining. And uh, we're going straight into the wind on this range, which is a really good example, hitting off mat, so might have a little bit more spin. It's gonna be a little bit harder to control the trajectory of the ball, but this is gonna be a real, real good example of something you can practice on the range that you're gonna need on the course as well. And that's what we're always talking about here is taking it from the practice area to the course. So uh, a couple of things to think about when you're the wind is the loft that you are putting on the club. So you think about if your hands are behind the club at impact, you're adding loft to it. If your hands are in front, you're going to be de-lofting it. De-lofting it means it's going to be lower, which is what we want when we're hitting into the wind. So I've got an eight iron right here. So one thing that we're going to do at setup is just move the ball a little bit back in my stance. So I might have this just a little bit back of center. And next thing that we're going to do is really focus on at impact, having my hands feel like they're a little bit ahead of the club. So we don't want them back here flipping, but the hands feel like they're a little bit ahead. Third thing we want to do is feel like we keep our body moving low and left. So our, our body stays low. We're not standing up. We're not lifting the club, but our body moves low and the club comes through low and left. So this is going to kind of look like this. So we're going to put it back a little stance, make sure hands are a little forward. It's going to produce a tight little draw fight right through the wind. 